Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Gonna be talking today about the Intellivision Amico and why I pre-ordered the Founders Edition. Now I'm really excited. Uh, the email went out today at one o'clock and I was uh, eagerly awaiting that to come in so I would be sure to be on the list. They only uh, created 2,600 of these special editions, you know, after the Atari 2600, which I thought was pretty amusing. But anyway, 2,600, those are gonna get, uh, I'm sure those are gonna get bought up very quickly, because that's really not a huge number compared to all the Intellivision fans out there, and just compared to, you know, these kind of special edition, you know, retro consoles, or just special edition video game things in general. 2,600 is not a huge amount, so I definitely wanted to make sure I got in on it. Now I'm gonna go over a little bit. My main thing I'm gonna be talking about is why I pre-ordered it, why I pre-ordered the Founders Edition. But briefly, I'm gonna go over real quick what uh, comes with the Founders Edition. Now, um, they've offered this um, exclusively to, you, ha you had to wait for the email, you had to be on their email list. Now that's a good way to get, you know, to bulk up your email list and just to draw attention, you know, to create the excitement. But I went into this, you know, soberly. I wasn't just like, ah, I have to have it. Uh, you know, I, I examined it, I thought about it, and just, um, you know, I watched the, uh, you know, the various promos for the Amico, some of the gameplay footage and everything, and just what some of the YouTubers that have actually had some time with the console, what they were saying, and just in general, um, you know, so, you know, I made a uh, logical, rational decision, I think, uh, to pre-order the Amico, but real quick, let's go over, you know, just some of uh, what comes with the Founders Edition. Now, it is a wood grain uh, Amico console, uh, which is very classic, you know, after the old consoles, after the Intellivision, the uh, wood grain Intellivision and the Atari 2600 uh, had wood grain originally. Um, so that's pretty neat. I actually prefer uh, the black and blue Tron design. Uh, it's not officially a Tron design, but it reminded me of, that, of those colors. You know, the Amico is available, is going to be available in several colors. That one is ultimately my favorite, but the wood grain is awesome as well. At some point, who knows, maybe I'll get the the uh, what I call the Tron colored one as well. But anyway, so it is the wood grain one. It is very cool looking. And it said it's gonna be signed by Intellivision CEO and Amico visionary Tommy Tallarico. Now I don't really collect signed consoles. Uh, the one I do have, I've got uh, just a shell of Atari 2600 signed by Joe DeCour, who was one of the creators, designers of the Atari 2600. Um, so I do have that. That's that's really the only signed console I have. And that's not a huge perk to me to have. I mean, Tommy's my friend and everything. Getting that signed by him is, is not a huge deal, but it'll it'll still be pretty neat. Okay, next up, an exclusive $50 golden ticket gift card to, to you know, load your Amigo up with, with, you know, digital downloads. That's awesome. Obviously, when I get the Amico, I'm going to want a bunch of games. It'll be nice to already have, uh, you know, some, basically a gift card uh, to go ahead and download some of those. I think the games are gonna be somewhere between three and $10 each for download, so I can get several that way. And it's coming with an exclusive Founders patch commemorating the launch of the new system. I like the idea of a patch, I'll take that. Maybe I'll put it on a jacket or something. Uh, an exclusive Founders pin, perfect for showing off your Intellivision pride. I have a hat that, <laughs> coincidentally enough, I already have a hat that has an Intellivision homage to it. Uh, the Running Man, my uh, Guitar Hero hat, does have an intelligent, Intellivision uh, emblem there, so maybe I'll put the pen on this hat, you know, maybe to replace the Superman one pen there. So that's cool. I definitely want that. An exclusive lenticular poster signed by the entire Amico development team. Again, I'm not huge on autographs, so that doesn't do much for me, but, and you know, <laughs> the way my walls are, I don't have a ton of room for a, a poster, but maybe I'll make room for that, so... That's cool, but it's not something I'm hugely excited, excited about. Next, it says, rock out with retro style, uh, rock out retro style with CDs and digital downloads of the Earthworm Jim anthology album and Tommy Tallarico Greatest Hits Volume 2. That sounds neat, no problems there. Um, always good with uh, physical media, uh, physical CDs, digital downloads are fine as well. And I'm a big Earthworm Jim fan and I like Tommy's music, so it's all good. Uh, next, it, see, it says, you'll receive early delivery of this edition before Amico hits store shelves. You will literally be the first on your block to have one. Now, that's pretty cool because it'll be nice to make a, you know, a YouTube video of you know, playing the games early and just my initial impressions of the, video, of, of the system. That'll make for a neat video. Plus, just as an Intellivision fanboy, that'll be exciting you know, to have... Um, to be the first in my neighborhood or whatever, maybe in my city, I don't know, to play the Intellivision Amico, you know, a few days early. That'll be really neat. 
So let me tell you now why I'm excited about the Intellivision Amico at all. You know, why does it matter to me that they're coming out with a retro-themed console that's going to harken back to the days of the Intellivision, the days of, uh, you know, 79 up through the early 80s, and why that's important? Uh, well, first of all, um, I've been playing, you know, the Intellivision not from day one, but uh, a few months after the console had come out, um, I was playing it at a friend's house. I've got a couple of episodes that you can check out where I talk about the Intellivision uh, just on YouTube. You know, just look up Tales from Retro Gamer and Television, and you'll find them, or my name in Television, or just, you know, look on, um, you know, just look on my videos. You'll find a couple of Television episodes. Um, so, a big fan of Intellivision way back, and I'm really excited about, you know, reimagined versions of, you know, things like Night Stalker and Beauty and the Beast and maybe Lock and Chase. Who knows? I don't know if they have that um, IP locked down, but whatever the case, there's going to be a lot of Intellivision games um, reimagined with better graphics, but with two, you know, 2D uh, gameplay, 2D graphics or 2.5 graph, you know, 2.5D graphics. And I'm really excited about that, you know, because I prefer simple games that you can pick up and play that aren't, you know, you don't have to have, you know, just a ton of... Um, experience with the manual or walkthroughs or everything to play and so I'm really excited about you know just simple games so that's another reason and so when gaming started getting more graphically impressive and when the newer systems uh, were coming out after you know the Atari 2600 after the Intellivision after the ColecoVision I was wondering okay what are the next wave of game systems gonna bring I had no idea back in the day and so when the Intel, uh, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and all that came out, that was awesome. Loved those systems. The 2D platformers and everything. You know, I didn't know what to expect from those systems. And they were great. A lot of, two, you know, just excellent games with 2D graphics. And then we go on. We get to the Saturn and the PlayStation and the Ninten Nintendo 64 era. Again, some great games. Super Mario 64, phenomenal. Um, just a lo I, I love my PlayStation, my PlayStation 2 and everything. But still, there was just something missing. I'm a big fan of 2D games, and those systems did have some excellent 2D games, especially the PlayStation 1, like Crash Bandicoot, like Rayman, you know, great stuff. But I, I'm really interested in 2D games that harken directly back to the really early, early eras of gaming, you know, with the Intellivision and the Atari 2600 and, you know, my beloved ColecoVision and all those systems. And I really look forward to playing, you know, modern games with modern graphics, um, but that are in 2D and that offer 2D ga gameplay. I'm also a big fan of uh, Couch Co-op, which the Amico promises. And, you know, uh, as Tommy has said, you know, uh, the, the Amico isn't unique with Couch Co-op, uh, you know, with relatively modern gaming, the we did it, the we did it well. But like you said, you know, that's been, you know, a dozen or maybe over a dozen years or so ago uh, since that console came out. So... I am very excited about a new uh, Intellivision, about a new retro system, about a new system that's going to play 2D games that, um, that you know, your friends and family can, can sit around and play. I've got a big, nice game room that I like to play games in, like when my nephew comes into town or when friends are over or whatever, it'll be great. To, and what's really neat about this, the system does come with two controllers, which I really like. A lot of the modern systems come with one controller, which I've, has always been annoying to me uh, since that became a trend. Um, so I really like that it comes with two controllers. And what's really neat is for your friends that come over that don't have an Amico or whatever, are, um, they can use their cell phone um, to, to you know, just immediately start playing games with you. So now I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I don't know if the cell phone will be as, you know, will it maybe not do as good of a job uh, as the regular Amico controller. So um, the person with the actual Amico controllers may have an advantage over someone that comes over that only uses, you know, only has the cell phone to play the games with. But whatever the case, it's really neat that that is an option that you can hook up several controllers to the Amico and you can use your cell phone as a controller. I really like that feature. That sounds great. Um, Anyway, so I am very pumped about the Intellivision Amico. I'm excited about the, uh, the you know, getting the Founders Edition early. I think it's going to be really neat. I rarely do this kind of thing. I'm typically not an early adopter. I usually wait a while. When a new console comes out, I usually wait a while till maybe the first price drop or I can get one used or something, something like that. That's typically how I roll. But this just seemed like a really good value, a lot of good extras. Now, $300 may seem like a lot. 
may seem like a lot of money considering you can get, you know, some of their newer consoles for two and three hundred dollars. My son got his PlayStation 4 on Black Friday with Spider-Man for two hundred dollars. But um, I am, you know, this is an unusual console and it's not, it's not going to be as ubiquitous as some of these bigger consoles, you know, like the Xboxes and Playstations of the world. So this is a specialty product and you expect to pay a little bit more for specialty products, which the Intellivision Amico is going to be. And the regular edition of the system, I believe it's supposed to be around uh, between 180 and 200 or something like that. So that seems entirely reasonable to me. Anyway, I'm glad I hopped on board and got the Founders Edition. And again, Tommy is my friend, but I don't make any money off the Amico or anything. I'm just very happy that, um, that it's going to come out. Anyway, thanks, Tommy. Thanks, Intellivision Company. And thank you all. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. We will talk to you later.